on any given day, new cells are being created. Thousands, millions of new cells. And your cells were at their healthiest when you were very young. People think skincare is adding Botox shots and putting a laser on your face and using some creams. But the first question I ask my patients is, who are you? They say, well, what do you mean? I'm so-and-so. I said, no, at your core, who are you? What I've learned from children is that they're not afraid to fail. They don't judge themselves, they don't judge others. Those are attributes that make them healthier. And unfortunately, as we get older, we begin to be more and more limited. Eating water-rich foods, minimizing your stress, doing exercise, all of those together are making all of yourselves younger. The whole concept here is how can we get you back to what you used to be? The most important thing is understanding that no matter how old you are, you have an opportunity to make changes in your lives to make you as happy as possible. My dad had a different kind of life growing up. He came to the United States from Iraq. They were forced to flee. They had to leave all their money, all their possessions behind. So they were completely broke when they arrived in the United States. Everyone in the family worked. While he was in high school, he worked at a bowling alley before they had the automatic pin sweepers. He would actually be the kid who would set the pins back up, dodging bowling balls. He worked as a pharmacist overnight to pay for medical school. So he really didn't sleep. There's really no challenge that will stop him or even make him stumble. I never knew what I would become, but I allowed it to happen. I was free, I was willing to take the risks. I was willing to explore opportunities. My father is responsible for countless firsts. First Dr. Brand, first Medi Spa. He was one of the first people that used glycolic acids, as I recall. Antioxidants for skincare benefits. He was the first person to ever think of that. Dr. Mirrors had expertise that the rest of us didn't have and that he had been a pharmacist first. And so he had a lot of sensibility as far as natural products and putting things together. He was into quality of life, people's quality of life. And he, um, he thought big. Dr. Howard Mirrors. So wonderful to see you. My medical practice was generally different. I tended to always look at the whole person. As we get older, it begins to leak water and obviously can't function as well. I say beautiful skin is healthy skin. And when you're healthy, you're beautiful. Over the last sort of decade, a new stress has come to our earth. I call it cultural stress. It's the stress of modern living. It's the rules and regulation, it's a digital dependency, which is wreaking havoc on every cell in your body. Because of the stress, it's constant, pervasive, and it goes unabated. Dealing with all of those together, and that's what we need to do. So if we can encourage young people to eat better, to take better care of their skin, to minimize their stress, we help them for their whole life. Being there for his children and his grandchildren is probably the most important thing in his life. I think being able to have them in his business was such a, a dream of his. One of the biggest lessons I've learned from my dad is that it's never too late to do something new with your life or to achieve a goal. He started this company when he was 50. The second half of your life could be the best, and that's something that's really exciting to me. My favorite saying that he has is, be imperfect, live longer. Best thing you can do for your skin is to smile. So he's doing this because he loves helping people. I mean, the, the real driving force is his passion 
for enriching people's lives. So it's a celebration because we're all together and we all love each other. Thank you. Yay! Cheers. Tragedy <laughs> toast. Cheers. Cheers. As somebody in the beauty industry, one by one, you are changing the lives of everybody that you touch. You can be a therapist, you can be involved in the business of it. You have permission to do so much that helps people in a way that is not medicinal, it's not medicine, but in a way it's maybe more important. <laughs>